Welcome. This is where I talk about houses I have worked in in the 15 years that I owned attic to basement estate cleanouts in the Washington, D.C. metro area. One interesting job was from 2012 in Maryland in a house that was built in 1960. It was a small one story house with a huge walkout basement. There were 100 rare books and enough model trains to supply a museum. In fact, it did. The museum was able to sell anything that they couldn't use as a display. This job took 107 hours and two helpers, along with my brother-in-law. He and his wife were thinking of starting this kind of business in Florida where they live. And after working with me, he changed his mind. On this job, we were asked to pull up carpet and without the right tools, it can be a back-breaking job. It was for my brother-in-law and me. After that, I did find a man who worked for junk to the dump trash removal, who had done this type of work before and used him from then on. As long as you have a shower box cup cutter, the carpet is not the tough part. It's the tack strips and the staples throughout the floor that held the pad in place. I'm glad not to have to tackle that again. Anyways, back to the job. I don't know much about the husband since he died years before the wife, but I learned that she was a wave in World War II and in 1947 began work at the NSA. I met the deceased person's relative from out of state in September. Then we had to wait for the court to appoint him executor. In November, I started work at the house. There were lots of swan figurines, women's clothing, Royal Dalton China, some Waterford glassware, and jewelry, and lots of tools. The owner of Polly Sue's Vintage Shop in Tacoma Park, Maryland, came to the house to look through all the vintage purses, hats, blouses, and dresses. I was told by a family member that the husband had been the head of the Train Collectors Association, and when he died, the wife became president of the club. I didn't know until then that because the husband and then the wife were in charge of conventions for the association, they received special trains to commemorate each convention. The owner of Associated Auctioneers came to help me sort through the basement full of trains. I learned a lot about model trains on this job. I had never heard of McCoy trains before this, and I got to see trains with Mickey and Minnie Mouse, which were antique and some were new. You can see by the photos that this, this nice couple were obsessed by model trains. next house was in Gaithersburg, Maryland, and was a little shocking. I was first called in just to straighten up the house so the owner might come home from the hospital. Electronic equipment was bought by this man, and it had taken over the house. A cleaning crew came in after my helper and I spent a full day working in the house, but they weren't able to do any kind of adequate job because of the mess that the house was in, as you will see from the photos at the end of this video. As we worked sorting through everything, we found video cameras hidden around the first floor and also still photographs of men who were not the homeowner. I'll never know if the men who came into the house knew that they were being filmed or photographed. What I don't understand is if people have money to buy all these items that are not needed to stay dressed and fed, why don't they hire a regular weekly cleaning crew to come in? This job took 17 days to empty out the house and the house was not that big. As you will see from the photos, a lot of it was just paper strewn across the floor and VHS tapes and TV shows stored in bookcases. I've written down that two loads of trash were taken out, but I think I just stopped keeping track. It may have been six loads of trash or more when all was said and done. The basement was full of electronic parts and equipment. Water had been coming in when it rained as everything near the basement door to the outside stairs had to be trashed, as we could see watermarks on those items. I also have notes that the owner of Associated Auctioneers stopped by to see the amount of electronics he was going to get to sell and the Chevy Trailblazer, which was less than two years old, but did have some scrapes on the side panel. At least two truckloads of furniture and packed items went to auction. Until this job, I didn't know there was such a demand for electronic test equipment. They sold quite well at auction. 
oscillators I had seen before. It was a little frustrating to work here because he had kept all sorts of pieces of computers and VCRs, etc., and I just didn't know if they were saleable or not. And the amount of wires, yikes! There was more of the same in the garage. Forget about parking a car in there. I do understand that because I'm not interested in electronic equipment, it was not an exciting house for me to work in, but I did learn a lot. Next up are the photos from this house. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to be notified when the next video gets uploaded. Let me know if you have any questions about running an estate business. Bye.